I want, I want to show you how to set the product design app to directly show the design canvas on the product page, like this. There are two ways to do this. The first is to pick a specific so-called CSS selector that tells the product designer where it should display the design canvas. The second one is to create a custom Shopify theme. Today, we're going to focus on the first one. OK, let's see how to do that. Let's go to the app and have a look at the theme setup. As you can see, there's like a lot of things you can configure. Most of these things are more advanced options to have custom pricing, to like show customized images in specific settings, and to like accommodate for very specific themes that are not following the default. The only thing we really need to care about is this first box here. And this is where we need to do something. So what we need to do here is um, to enter a so-called CSS selector in this field. Just a little warning, this might be a bit technical if you don't know what HTML and CSS look like. If that's the case, don't worry, just click here the green button and reach out to us and we are really happy to help you with the app. About half of our customers actually reach out to support and we help them to set up the app. So what do you need to enter here? You need to enter a specific CSS selector that tells the app where on the product page it should place the design canvas. A CSS selector is something that allows you to identify arbitrary HTML elements on a page. And we're going to do this now. OK, let's have a look at our product page. This is how it looks like. Now we need to get a little bit technical. So let's say you have the Chrome browser, and you do a right double click on the, on the page, and then there's a point inspect. Depending on your configuration, this will open up a new window or show you this code as part of your, your page. So what we want to do is we want to pick out this image and figure out how we could identify it with our CSS selector. First step is click on that, and now you can see it already has selected the thing. Well, now there's like a couple of con considerations to be taken, which of these elements you want to select. I would say most of the time you just need to try out and maybe test a couple of things. But as a general guideline, it's best to select the outmost selectors that only pick the image. So in this case, I would say that would be, so I would pick this class as a selector and copy that to the app. Just put it in here. And now we need to add a dot. If you're not familiar with that, maybe it's best to just reach out to the support. We're really happy to help you with that. OK, let's reload the page. And voila, here is the product designer, exactly where we want it to be. If you do that the first time, you sometimes end up in situations where like this actually breaks your page. Then you either can like experiment a little bit or just um, reach out to us with the support. And we are really happy to help you with that. Thank you very much. Thank you.